My easy jet, 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 jet. Yo, yo, it's your boy Star. Jet, jet. You ain't tuned to the inner city echo. Jet, jet. You tryna get high, that's my easy jet. I can make these niggas touch the sky with my easy jet. I go that fucking snow white, that's my easy jet. Yeah, I go that black boy chronic, that's my easy jet. My easy jet, my easy jet. Project's called Easy Jet. Obviously, we're looking for this to be the first official, my first official single, and it features um, another RDR member by the name of Gritty Grits. Um, yeah, let me give you an insight on the project of how that came about and where it started from to where it is now. I agreed with him. Basically, um, it was a verse that I wrote over a Rick Ross tune. I'm not getting paid for holler if we got a problem. And I was trying to get out a message or basically tell people the way that man's living. But I didn't want to do it like what I've seen people doing before. So I wanted to play around with words and use my wordplay. I'm very creative when it comes to wordplay. I wanted to play around with the words. Try and make people think and say, oh yeah, you know what, yeah. Kind of went in like, the way that he disguised everything. It's kind of sick still. So anyway, I made the verse in it. Um, recorded it at home. Done a little bit here and there. Done the chorus. The chorus was live. The chorus is actually the main part of what goes on in it. She said, "My chain flash. My easy jet. My easy jet." Chorus is made there to get people gassed. It's one of those choruses where everybody can join in. It was a long story of finding out who I actually wanted to put on the project, but anyway, I got grits on the project. If it ain't high, high, really mess, mess. I'm on the I heard the verse, I was like, yeah, this is a smash. Express. My dizzle will have you feeling fizzy, you won't need to rest. No. Come and get a stone, I love you flying like an easy jet. We put it at Ruins, Aeson's studio. And Ruins put me forward to his brother, Jay Flames. And whoever was in the studio at that time was like, no, I'm like, tune banging, tune banging, you get me? And, and the initial beat that Jay Flames produced, it was like, it was a trap beat. And it was a heavy, it's got a heavy bass line on it. And it's it's like one of those ones where you play it in a club and your head's initially bouncing. Like, you see what I'm saying? After performing it for about a year, it's like I wanted something new in it. I needed something new to push with the Easy Jet because there was no way I was going to let this die down in it because people's telling me we've got a hit here. I got the a cappella from, from Ruins. And I threw it straight to Genius. Within a week, he come back with a par partially done Easy Jet track. Now, this guy, this guy is amazing. He's crazy, he's creative and everything. Like, the way that he chopped up that acapella and put it back together is amazing. By the time it was finished and it got back, we again was like, nah, this is a banger blood. Like, J Flames is one's a banger, and J Flames is one will tear down the road. But this one came on a more, it was hard, but it was more commercialized as well at the same time. Like, man's trying to hit a bigger market than I've ever hit before. Uh, this is gonna be the track, yeah, that sets man apart and kind of puts man on a, on on the road to success in it. Like, I've got a plan, man's building, I've got the production back. And just started putting it out there, started performing again. And we were performing, performing, and it's going down, it's going down. Grits is turning up to performances. Um, we're there, we're bringing the people out, and we're getting good response from it. A whole of that Lou London, isn't it? Inner City Echo. And I kind of dropped in the concept to the whole to the whole project, like from start to finish, and how I want it, what I want it to do, and everything. Uh, we chopped up a, a few things, he went away, he came back with a concept, I already had a concept, so we kind of put it all together. Um, 
in that space of time, I kind of hired out a nice studio. The studio is big. Uh, you'll see what we're putting together. And you'll see what we do. Everything is very professional. So I hired that out, put out a message to all the audio models that the video was going on. Down. When we got to the studio, um, everyone was there, the models, Everyone turned up, it was a good turnout. But the, 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 the best thing about it is that when we did get to the studio, everybody looked and saw how professional everything was in it. So it was like everyone was amazed in it. And the actual filming and everything for the video it was just like, it was just great. Like, I mean, we could have we could have had probably a bit more time, but it went well, in it? Um, we had the smoke machine there, we had strobe lights, we had soft boxes, uh, we had photography going on down there, whole type Ebony Hayes photography. And um, I want to send a shout out to everybody that turned up and made that um, video what it was for when you see it. Because without everybody else that was there, the video wouldn't have went down as well. Right, there you have it. I just gave you the wrap up on the project, let you know where it started from to where it's ended up. You get me? So make sure you download the EasyJet EP on the 30th of April from iTunes or any other online store. You get me? The video will be out shortly. Um, make sure you support the movement, RDR Empire, Acting Up Entertainment, Inner City Echo. Yeah, make sure you do that. And um, I just hope that you enjoy what we put out because we put a lot of hard work into it. I go by the name of Starter, aka Starter Fresh, aka Mr. 406, also known as Easy Jet Flag. Um, I represent RDR Empire and Acting Up Entertainment. So I'm glad that you've watched this and I hope you enjoy. Star, bang. I'm on the grind all the time